poems are about, the stories we have to tell about who we are and how we live our lives and how we make sense of this world are the great questions of the humanities. So poems can be about friends and why they're special to us. They can be also about things that we are, are wondering about our lives and what we do with our lives. And sometimes poems, a lot of times, poems are really filled with questions because so much of our lives are about questions that we ask and answers, questions for which often there really aren't even answers to. How many of you have big brothers or big sisters? How many of you are big brothers or big sisters? I'm a big sister. She's eight. I want to read a poem kind of about a big brother or a big sister. This one about a big sister waking up to her little sister. It's called Waking. She wakes in her new bed, calling out my name. As my head rises from the pillow, she smiles. She asks me if she can wake up now, as if to make sure it is morning and not dark anymore. She climbs out of her bed and into mine, places her yellow knitted blanket on my lap, and rests her head on my knee. I gaze at her, trying to imagine what is going through her mind, and I think she is a wonder. She asks for a drink of water, and we go to the kitchen where I pour her a cup. She carefully climbs onto her chair at the table and drinks while I stare at her in amazement, watching how carefully she sips and puts her cup down. Every movement distinct, important. Then softly she reaches her hand to mine. On this cold morning, I am filled with warmth. I smile, learning more every day that is truly important. I like that. I like how we can learn from young people to remember what's truly important. Um, some books in your library that I took off the display that's out there. Wonderful display. Let's read a few. This is um, Lakes and Hughes' poem from the, the Call the Dream Keeper. So this is a lovely collection of poems, The Dream Keepers. Bring me your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all of your heart melodies that I may wrap them in that blue cloud cloth away from the two rough fingers of the world. Bring me all your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all your heart melodies that I may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth away from the two rough fingers of the world. So some of these poems that I've been reading rhyme, and a lot of them don't rhyme. And that's because what's important to poets is that they tell their stories using the best words they can possibly use. Okay? And, and poems don't have to rhyme. And poems don't have to follow any particular form. They can, and sometimes that's really wonderful. But the idea of a poem is to write about what matters to you and find the best words you can to, to say what that is. Here's a poem about school by Megan Merkel. Sometimes when we're in school, we have, we're supposed to stand up and say things and talk in front of the whole class. Sometimes even in our poems, we're supposed to do that. And we'll be at a dinner table with friends, and mommy or daddy will say, tell Uncle Sam about the flight. <laughs> Megan Merkel writes, last week at school. Last week at school was like an opera. I just point out that we'll do a little bit, that she's using a comparison which poets use a lot. Last week at school oh. was like an opera. Can you figure out why she thought that? Last week at school was like an opera because we had to talk solo by ourselves to the whole class. We're gonna do a little bit of poetry writing, okay? Young and old. We're gonna do two warm-up exercises and we'll do some comparisons because 
terms of the, one of the major tools that poets write. Okay? So we'll start with this. Write down a piece of paper. My brother or sister. Right? And you put their name in. Or and if you don't have a brother or sister, you can use my best friend. Okay. If you want to write his or her name in there, you can. You too. My brother or sister is like. And then I want you to think of something you would find in the kitchen. <laughs> that might help you say something truthful about how you experience your brother or your sister. I might. May I present my sister? <laughs> <laughs> my sister is like a spoon. She stirs people and ideas together and nurtures us with a mixture. Mm. Read again. Say it again. My sister is like a spoon. She stirs people and ideas together and nurtures us with the mixture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Could you stand up and face that way so everybody can hear? That's good. My room is like a pineapple because sometimes the yellow on my walls begin to feel good and juicy, but other times they just plain yellow and feel foul. Oh, good. Now, yeah. read it one more time. Yeah. My room is like a pineapple because sometimes the yellow on my walls begin to feel good and juicy, but other times it is just plain yellow and feel sour. <laughs> well, that woman loves pineapple, doesn't she? <laughs> Thank you so much. Good. Is your mother going to read a poem to us? Oh, sure. All right. My daughter is like my apple cutter, deliciously twirling through the inner purse. But at a closer look, I see a strong, upright inner core. Wow. Uh, that's good. Good. Thank you. Thank you.